Finding your next warehouse space can be time-consuming and frustrating. In our online course, The Ultimate Warehouse Checklist, we cover all the different components to look for while on your warehouse tour. In this particular video, we'll be covering sprinkler systems and commodity classifications. Now, talking about sprinklers. Assuming you need sprinklers, does this building have a sprinkler system? What type is it? Is it wet? Is it wet, dry, ESFR, and there's five different levels of ESFR sprinkler systems? Is it pre-action, quell, deluge, or foam? Or do you require a dry fire suppression system? These are things, like I said, that you'll want to find out before you go on the tour, and then you'll want to compare the sites and what they have. You don't want to re-sprinkler a building if you don't have to. What they have already built in. Now, wet sprinkler systems are good for class one commodities. These things don't burn as easily. There are appliances, ceramics, food, glass, glass doesn't burn too well, and non-combustibles. Class two are class one products, but the difference lies in how they're stored. Are they stored in paper type of storage or polyethylene pallets? That's a real tongue twister, polyethylene. But are they stored in polyethylene pallets? And that's gonna raise them to class two, but wet sprinkler systems may still be sufficient. Then you're getting into ESFR sprinkler systems for class three, four, and five commodities. They provide at least twice the amount of water that traditional wet sprinkler systems to do. For class three products such as wood, paper, natural fibers, fertilizers, paints and lubricants, you may be able to get away with class three ESFR sprinkler systems. And that will help you narrow down when considering the sprinkler systems, it's going to help you down, narrow down what sites to even consider seeing. For level four and five, you may need quell systems. They're ideal when you're storing sensitive materials. They allow for a higher level of protection and for protection of, of commodities piled as high as 48 feet. So consider that if you have class four type of materials stored in plastic packaging or their plastics, furniture, or pharmaceuticals. Now, if you're storing very combustible or hazardous type of materials such as fuels or even fighter airplanes, that's a class five system and you're going to need a deluge or foam system. They're very effective for this highest level of commodity classification. Get free access to the full online course. Click the link in the description to begin your journey to stress-free CRE. Thanks for watching.